Hi everybody, it's John Cable from Maple Street Guitars here in Atlanta, Georgia. Today I would like to compare two identical guitars except for their tops. And their tops are both Sitka Spruce, but one is baked and one is not. I'm referring to two Collings D2Hs. These are East Indian Rosewood back and sides, Sitka Spruce tops. Uh, they have pre-war scallop braces, 25 and a half inch scales, one and three quarter inch nuts. So they're identical in every way except for the torification or the baked top uh, of the D2H baked. <laughs> and this is a D2H. This is the standard D2H I have in my hands right here. So what we thought we'd do is just play them both and see if you can hear any differences and what uh, baking a top can actually do to the tone of the guitar. Okay, so we'll start with the standard D2H and then move on to the D2H with the baked top. Here is the standard D2H. Now moving on to the D2H with the baked top, you'll notice a slightly different coloration in the top and that's due to the baking process. So there you go, two really beautiful guitars, uh, both identical in every way except for the baked top on the D2H baked. Uh, you know, a lot of the guitar manufacturers, most of them, uh, agree that torrifying or baking a top adds years of playing time to the top so that it opens up and it sounds more like a guitar that's been played for many, many years. Uh, we do notice a difference in response and tonal characteristics, but we wonder if you do too. So leave us some comments below. And let us know what you think. If you're interested in either of these guitars or anything here at Maple Street Guitars, you can find us on the web at maplestreetguitars.com. You can follow us on Facebook and Instagram, and uh, we'll be happy to, uh, to uh, communicate with you and answer any of the questions you might have. So until next time, see ya.